I got a cable in the mail. I'm gonna unbox this. I'm assuming this is going to be a Yin Yu six core MMCX cable from AliExpress. I also have a four core coming, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna open it up and then we'll go from there. Here is, and it's a little bright back there, but here is the six core Yin Yu MMCX cable. Uh, it came in a nice bag. Other than that, that's all that was in the package. So I'm gonna open up the bag and then let's take a look. All right, here we go. Wow, this is really soft. Wow, this is really soft. I wonder what that is. Oh, it's just like a form of rubber in the cable. So we've got a really nice uh, soft feel to the cable. This end is not nearly as heavy as the end of the original. Actually, let me get the original and compare for a second here. Here, um, and by original, um, I'm hoping that the title says this, but the, the problem I was having with, was, with the Tin T2 was with the cable, not the end per se. Yeah, this end is much heavier than this. Not that that's a bad thing or a good thing, I'm just something noticed. Like this is, I wonder what the weight is of this cable. It's really interesting. Anyway, move that aside. So that's nice. It's got a little rubber protector here. Nice rubberized feeling. It's actually got a nice weight to it. Um, this looks all tangled. Let's untangle this. This isn't too bad. And there we go. So let's see here. Again, it's a bit bright. I'm gonna see, there we go. Yin Yu. In your six, in you, excuse me, six core cable. This little bead is not uh, metal. It's um, just a rubberized. Mm, I have a funny feeling this will slip up and down, but uh, I don't use them that often. I don't generally wear the MMCX cables over the ears. Uh, the reason I like these is they go straight in. There's no um, bent action and there's no rubber or plastic um, pieces that you put on top of this so that they keep the ear hooks. Um, they're just open cables. You could wear them over the ears for sure. Uh, they'll just mold to whatever you want. Um, but I like to wear my tins um, this way, up and down at the time being anyway. But I haven't worn them with these yet. I haven't actually plugged them in yet, so we'll, we'll have to see how that feels. This cable, I could just touch this cable all day. This feels really smooth. This is quite soft. Um, let's look at the ends for a second. You've got just a normal end, uh, no color, so white. And then down here, you've got a red end, which I would assume would be the right side. There's, I don't think there's any markers. Other than red, there's no markers indicating which is right and which is left. So the only other way to tell this would be to play an audio track or a balancing meter and just put it all on the right side. And then you can hear which but I'm just gonna assume the red is right and the white is left. Okay, here they are. Here's the blue and here's the red. And let's, so let's hook it up. Let's, uh, let's go back. See, I could just do this all day long, just running my hands across the cable. I don't know what it is about it, but it feels really nice. Um, here's the red, here's the red. Well, that's nice. That's actually a really nice snug fit. It's good. And let's get the other end. This is gonna be the left. Oh, that's a nice click click too. And okay, so I'm going to take a listen to these, just make sure they work. And maybe we'll listen to them on my computer and then also listen to them when I'm using my phone and let you know my opinion of the cable and my uses, how I'm gonna use this cable. Okay, so I've had a few days to listen, and if you didn't know, this is how I've been carrying my tin T2s around in a little Altoids tin, and there are the cables hooked up. So I'm just gonna leave them in the tin and chat about them unless I need to pull them out. First and foremost, the cable fixed the problem. So for about 48 hours now, I've been listening to these and I've had no distortion out of the red or the right side, so that's awesome. I'm really stoked about that. So thank you so much, Yin Yu, for um, saving the tin T2s for me. The sound, uh, obviously I'm not gonna talk about the sound difference, because in my opinion, there is no sound difference between cables. Um, there is definitely quality of cables. I'm not gonna lie there, because obviously this one did not work very well, or at all, and this one does. So yes, there's a quality of cables, but the sound, there's, there's, there's no difference in the sound, and, and I don't really wanna get into that conversation. However, what I would say is the bonuses. At home, I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, I don't think it's too heavy. It, uh, it doesn't tangle up at home. I'm listening to my laptop or I'm listening to my phone. 
uh, ish. I don't listen to my phone all the time at home, uh, but my laptop mostly if I'm editing or doing things like that. I like these. I've taken them to coffee shops, used my laptop. They work great. Laptop use, this cord, awesome. Really like it. Where I don't like it is when I use it with my phone. So when I'm using it with my phone, which I'm filming with my phone so I can't grab it, but when I'm using it with my phone, it, uh, you know, this end plugs in, I put it in my pocket, I take this cord up through my shirt, and then I'm listening to the headphones. However, the weight of the cable, even though it's not even that much, but the weight of the cable actually starts to pull my tins out of my ears just slightly. When I was using the bad cable and with the phone, um, I felt like I could run and these were not going to come out of my ears at all. So, so my review of the Yin Yu six core cable is I like it. I think for the price, this is great. I got it off of uh, AliExpress and I believe I got it for $17 shipped. I may be wrong there. Um, actually, sorry, that's my price, that's Canadian. I got them I think for $12 shipped, um, that's US. You can get them for about $20 US off Amazon. Both of those links will be in the description and any other cable stuff that I talk about will also be there. So that's it for this one. Yin Yu, I give it a thumbs up. I really like that cable. So far it lasts, so far it fixed the problem. I have no problems with it. And I think it looks dope.